Hey guys, it's Melissa, also known as Melly Mel the Muse. Welcome to my channel. Today is day 14 of our 21 days of gratitude. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a public figure and or influencer that I am grateful for. And that person is Jackie Ina. Every now and again, I'll come across folks who state that Jackie has changed since her little pumpkin pie 05 days, which is probably the case. Although in my humbled opinion, I would be shocked if she had not changed over the years considering when she started on YouTube. If I recall correctly, that was a pretty dark time in her life. We all get older, we all experience life events that eventually shape us as adults. We find, develop, and grow into our identity. And I think Jackie is no exception. And I believe many of us can tell that she's in a much happier place now. I cannot be mad at that, especially considering how hard she's worked in order to achieve this level of success that she has today. No one can deny the impact she has made on the beauty industry as a woman of color, specifically as a black woman. Now, she may not have been the first, but she is amongst the few whose voices are actually heard. Now you have all these people jumping on the inclusivity bandwagon. And I'm not saying that everyone that all of a sudden became social justice warriors for inclusivity, like for instance when it comes to foundation shades, I'm not saying all of those people are disingenuous. But I am asking folks use discretion. In some cases it is blatantly obvious that some of those who are speaking up now are doing it more so for the good PR and not so much for the actual cause. And as a side note, it's not only just the darker complexions that are often left out, but it's also those with the palest of complexions as well. Oftentimes, darker complexion folks, it feels like we're always an afterthought, if that. And when we're even thought of, how often were those shades ashy or the undertones were all wrong? Seriously, they got people out in these streets looking like, Oompa Loompas and Casper the Friendly Ghost. And what about chocolate go friendly eyeshadow palettes or lipsticks? Look, your nude and my nude may not be the same color nude. So please brands, stop making one shade the default nude. You got the rest of us over here wondering, nude for who? With that said, I am glad that more and more brands are taking notice. Of course, this is probably after they've been put on notice. And keep in mind, there are some brands, like for instance, NYX, you know, Estee Lauder and Lancome, that received the memo years ago. It is a smart business move on the part of brands to promote inclusivity at this point in the game. Jackie Ina is someone that is not perfect and has had her share of faux pas moments, but I'm pretty sure we all have. And the last time I checked, Jesus Christ died a long time ago. So name me a person living today that is perfect. I know I'm not perfect. Girl, I am far from it. <laughs> Speaking truth. I got my flaws that I'm trying to, you know, work on, develop, evolve from. But anyway, Jackie, just like many of us, we're just trying to live a positive life. And in Jackie's case, she's been hustling for the life she wants as well as the change she wants to see in the beauty industry. And that right there, I can respect. I am grateful for the influencer, Jackie Ina, because she is empowering women that look like her and me to not settle and to expect more from brands. Women who otherwise would just remain an afterthought. I really do wish there were more people of color, in particular, 
particular darker complexion or black people that were influencers as prominent as Jackie Ina. I know they exist, but for reasons that I won't be discussing in this video, I believe they are not getting the attention and shine that they deserve. Just look amongst the top beauty influencers. Representation is definitely skewed. Random fun fact time. So I never knew how to do my eyebrows until I came across a eyebrow tutorial video that Jackie had posted, and this was years ago. As a matter of fact, I think it was the first video I ever saw of hers, and it was amongst one of the first videos, period, that I ever saw on YouTube. So shout out to you, Auntie Jackie, for helping my eyebrows be visible in video as well as in photos. Also, Veterans Day was a couple of days ago, and I want to say to Jackie, as well as the other veterans out there, some of which are in my family, thank you for your service. Now that I've gotten that off my chest, who is a public figure and or influencer you are grateful for? 